Hi guys, this is Tim at LPS Computer. Today I'm going to show you how to fix these carriages for T770, T790, T1200, T1300, all, all of these newer carriages that use the V-Groove style belt. And Well, here's the problem that we're addressing today. It's when this post is broken off, when you go to replace a belt on these, uh, that, that's a fairly common thing to have happen. Uh, unless you're an expert like me, I don't, I don't know who, who did this, this was, that wasn't me. The belt isn't going to stay in the carriage anymore, it's not going to function properly at all. You still have this post on this end, but that's not going to provide enough um, pressure against these teeth here. Um, the ribs on the back of the belt are going to mess with these teeth, and that's what holds the belt in normally. So this isn't going to work for us. However, you don't need a whole new carriage body, you don't need a whole new carriage frame to deal with that. Unle unless you're really into wasting money or, or like you want to overcharge your customer. <clears throat> now I'm going to demonstrate to you just how easily you can uh, apply this fix if you are a technician or a very motivated user. If you are a technician, this something like this is real easy to just throw a couple of these in your tool bag. Uh, if, you're, if you are working on these machines and you go for a belt replacement or whatever and the carriage has this broken post or this post mysteriously falls off. It's real easy to just carry a couple of these. You're not going to have a backup carriage in your tool bag. These are inexpensive. They weigh nothing. Once you have the carriage out of the machine, in fact, let me go ahead and start a stopwatch here. I wasn't planning on this, but I'll, I'll just show you. You can expect this to take about uh, 20 seconds if you're an expert like me. And then you just <coughs> string the belt in here. I have one post uh, still intact, and the other is missing. If both are missing, this, this fix will still work fine. And all you do is a little over time, but that's, that's OK. All you do is get that clip in there real good. And now that's solid. That's not going anywhere. And, uh, okay, looks like I got the belt in backwards. <clears throat> I'm, I'm doing this to show you how to remove, how to extract the clip as part of the tutorial. If you get it on wrong, um, like I did, uh, you can use a screwdriver to uh, take advantage of this little, little cutout slot. Okay, I didn't, didn't plan on doing this. You, you just use your uh, pocket knife or whatever you have with you. And it'll come free. Real. <clears throat> okay. Took me a minute to find a screwdriver here. That's really the right tool that you should be using if you trying to remove it. And uh, you just slide in here, and then you're going to be doing this motion. You're pressing against the body. It's not going to hurt the carriage. It'll just pop. Just. Okay, so sometimes you have to take extreme measures, but uh, that's, that's the line of work we're in. Uh, we, we are still within acceptable limits here, so... Okay, that's, that's not going anywhere. Okay, so what we're doing here is making a new clip. Uh, the old one disappeared. I don't, I don't know what happened to it. I think, I think the dog is looking kind of guilty. Maybe she stole it. What do you think? Hmm? Mm, yeah, nice. 
Don't. I have spent a lot of money on this. Don't don't tell Bob. <coughs> okay. Uh, it should be any minute now. And uh, we should still be within an acceptable time frame here. Okay, here's the new clip. This one's gray. Uh, if you look in here, you can see a little bit of bevel to the top here. That's just to help the clip slide in over on top of the belt and the carriage molding. Hope you can see that. <clears throat> now what you want to do is just take your belt and you're going to make the teeth mesh here. It's pretty difficult to actually get this in wrong. <clears throat> especially if you're a pro like me, you're going to take the clip and this flat LPS branded side, that's going to be facing out this way and you just slip it right on there. Apply a little bit of pressure, it's not going to hurt if you really crank down on it, although this thin wall may break if you're bracing against that too much. But that's, that's fine, it's not going anywhere. <clears throat> and that's how it's going to look. This is pretty much flush with the carriage body and there's a bit of wiggle room in the uh, in the printer chassis anyway so that's really all there is to it. As you can see uh, it's super easy to get this done. Uh, we did do it in a reasonable time frame.